Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer combat cards. I'm here with the campaign of the week. And in this campaign we're playing as the Tyranids against the Tau Empire. Got some pretty cool mission rewards for uh, this campaign. We have an opportunity to get extra copies of the Exocrine, very powerful ranged uh, unit. As well as this uh, brand new card here, the Harispex. Very powerful uh, melee uh, unit. A bit expensive, uh, but I really love this model. I'm glad to see it in the game. In the shop, there uh, is the old uh, Turvagon bundle here. I did buy the cheapest one, got six extra copies of the Turvagon. I don't actually use the Turvagon much at all, um, but I really like I like it a lot. I think it's uh, pretty creative what they did with its uh, special rule where it spawns infinite termagants. But so far I haven't used it in this campaign. In this campaign you get extra points for including infantry uh, in your deck, which is mostly... Infantry cards are mostly these uh, Gene Stealer Colts cards. And most of them are very cheap, so if you fill up your entire deck with just Gene Stealer Colts, you'll have a ton of leftover points. Uh, it's okay towards the beginning of the campaign, but once they get stronger, uh, you can't really win with just Gene Stealer Colts. So I swapped one out for this Carnifex. Also uh, have this little mucolid spore. It was better than the other options. So let's deploy here. I am at level, I believe, 27 in this campaign. So starting to face off against some pretty powerful Tau forces. Um, I did choose to use the Hive Tyrant as my warlord. Surprisingly well so far. The Hive Tyrant is just really powerful. And I found it's very good, especially against... Um, the Tau Warlords, because the Hive Tyrant has all three attack types, whereas Tau Warlords only have one attack. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. I deployed my Carnifex first. Uh, put this guy down. That shield, let's see, this is level 6, so it has one shield there. Unfortunately, I can't seem to actually... Uh... Yeah get rid of that shield with a furious charge or anything so I'm just gonna put down a bunch of melee guys here start off with a melee assault now the poison actually does go through the shield interestingly enough so I have poison that uh, stealth suit there uh, of course the hive tyrants special rule is um, it deals 10 damage to a random enemy uh, unit at the end of each turn Got two poison uh, Cards in this deck, so Let's see do I want to go that yep, I think we'll just keep going with the melee for now Since they don't have much to counter melee with at the moment The but uh, the warlord is a uh, farsight commander farsight level five that is a pretty high level this could prove to be a difficult battle here. And they will take out my uh, Sanctus there, sadly. I do have a pretty good mix of all three attack types in this deck. Got a couple Psychers, which I think I will deploy now. Of course, Tau uh, have no Psychers of their own. Uh-oh, that is... Yeah, I'm gonna have to take out that Pathfinder there. Alright, let's go with... We'll just do this. Hopefully I have enough damage to take out that Pathfinder one shot. I believe I do. Yep, just barely enough. The Carnifex is pretty nice just because... Uh, yeah, it has a huge amount of health and pretty decent ranged attack. Uh, to fight against the Tau, as well as, a, well as lots of melee, but I uh, don't always get to make use of the melee though, if since I have these psychers here. Um, but hopefully that card lasts a little while longer. And here come the big guns. They deployed. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, Ravana battle suit. 
level three legendary. Wow, that does and that as you can see that precision shot just took out the uh, my little gene stealer dude there in one shot. Okay, so they have I need to take out um Hmm, okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? This is a little tricky here. Because I want to take out the, uh... Ah, this is bad. Shoot, okay, whatever. Alright, sorry, that <laughs> a little bit of indecision there. I need to... See, the thing about Tau is you have to be careful towards the end of the battle because once their last unit deploys, it fully heals whatever's on the battlefield. So... What I want to do here is take out those two bodyguards on the left in the same turn. That will force out the enemy warlord, and then I can try to focus it down. Otherwise, you can end up with a situation where they just have, like, some really powerful... As you can see, the Riptide there, very powerful combo of ranged units, and there's no way I'd be able to get through that m amount of health there. So I just have to do everything I can to take out Farsight, which I think I should be able to do with my Hive Tyrant. My Hive Tyrant, although that is a lot of melee they got charged up. 68 damage multiplied by at least what is that? Three? I don't know. That it's a lot of damage. I'm gonna try to uh, reduce their um, melee by a little bit here as well as poison commander farsight and i'll deploy my hive tyrant next turn and hopefully be able to take him out let's see if they go melee or ranged okay it's looking decent so far yeah not bad not bad unfortunately my little spore dude died okay that's good the um the swooping assault is hitting far sight over and over. So as long as he can withstand one melee attack from far sight, we should be good to go. I think, yeah, there, there's no way that could do more than 250 damage in one hit, especially with the fear. Uh, my hive turn is at level seven, but it's only a level one fear, so 20% reduction in damage, reducing his damage to 54. And let's see, I'm gonna play a safe here, go with the Psychic. Do also reduce uh, enemy ranged here. Those debuffs really do help quite a bit as well against the Tau. And let's see what they do, going for the melee. And 175 damage, that's a ton of damage. Um, so yeah, that would have killed like the... If I had been running a different Warlord, like Gosar would have died in one shot there. Um, the Turvagon would have survived probably, but it would Turvagon itself just can't deal enough damage to actually beat uh, these Warlords. So Hive Tyrant, I think, is definitely the best option here. As you can see, took out Farsight without too much trouble. And yeah, this deck has actually worked out surprisingly good. I don't usually use many of the Gene Stealer Colts units um, except as kind of filler cards but hey I'm in position 17 of the campaign right now um, yeah not too bad let's look at the campaign rewards here you can get uh, this dude which I d never use I mean I have him at level 2 I have enough copies to get him to level 3 but I find the Riptide battle suit is actually a lot better I think this is a good campaign re reward though. The Hive Crone is very powerful. At the end of this campaign, I should be able to level it up. Um, so yeah, I really like playing as the Tyranids. They're super fun. And uh, if you're watching this, let me know what you think. If you like playing as Tyranids and uh, yeah, what you think about the campaign. Uh, th as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.